10. What's up, YouTube? Asia Persuasion here, Team Cleaners. <laughs> we are at uh, top uh, profile, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I got 11th. Uh, I lost uh, Cameraman James here. Oh, I yeah. I rub both games. So. Rub's godly. Uh, rub, yeah, Rub's really good. That's uh, still at three. Yeah. Sucks when you don't draw a twin, but I mean, uh, things yeah, happen. It's whatever. It's Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Well, let's um, get into your cool deck, I guess. Yeah, so I play going second spirals. Um, I expect a lot of rogue. I played six Dracos and uh, two stuns. So going second at all day was just perfect. Uh, so the most questionable card in my deck was Ibley. Uh I had a lot of thoughts from this card. Everyone was telling me don't play it going second. Uh, Hanko Chow didn't play it. Uh, ben Dieter didn't tell me to play it, but I played it. It, it worked out. Although I signed out most games, um, it worked out. But I played against Draco, so, and Stun, and they don't special. They so. don't do anything. But if they special it, I mean, it's probably off a return. But yeah. if I give Ibley to them, that's free fodder. That's free so. fodder, for sure. You try, you probably make a masterpiece out of that. That's free. Uh, but then three Droll. Uh, didn't get Droll Reincarnation like some people probably did, but my... Round one opponent could have did it, but he didn't know how, so that's regional <laughs> that's status. Regional. <laughs> uh, two Ogre. Uh, so I played two Ogre because I guess Pendulum wasn't a thing, even though it's old format, and everyone told me it was. Uh, I didn't believe them, so yeah. Uh, and then three Ash. Um, Stop Demises all day. Uh, Demise never got off against me, surprisingly, because none of my Draco players drew it, and I always had evenly matched. Oh, if they wow. Had judgment. Even if they have yeah, judgment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah literally judgment? cameraman right there. Oh, yeah, well, judgment that evenly judgment every day. Evenly, and then I just had another one, so yep, that's yeah. always great. Right. Uh, and then for spirals, we play a sleeper, obviously. You play last resort. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't play him. It's not a brick. I mean, sure, you brick with him sometimes, but if he can just pop cards for free, uh, especially in a slower format, he's good. Um, and his send effect actually won me like some games, so. Wow. That's nice. Uh, Mash plan, uh, you know, she was very scary on the board, I guess, because people striked her when she was on the board, so then I got the great effect, so. Uh, <laughs> I, I, whatever you want to say about her, like, she she's just good. I, I drew her sometimes, but I just pitched her with nightmares and then just proceeded to win. Uh, and then we played Drone. Uh, best card against Draco, because I stacked my opponent's deck for traps. Oh, like, yeah? Nothing left. Uh, and gave him a diagram, and then Demise was at the bottom. Or, and then, like, I, I don't know, Drone's just amazing. Uh, and then quick fix. Uh, this boy, you know, he was pretty good. Treated me well. Uh, drawing him wasn't too bad because most of the decks that I played against all stun really. I could predict uh, spells and traps were the two main, so I could just agent quick fix a lot. That was nice. Uh, then we played tough beatdown in a way. Uh, tough beatdown. Yeah, this card's really good. Uh, just to target a card and destroy it. Uh, your opponent has to respond to it. Uh, and then I played German agents because Kamal thinks French is good, but German's better because I don't speak French, I speak German. So. Oh. Yes. Uh, but no, nothing really to change there. I didn't want to see Ogre a lot. I didn't see Ogre a lot. I saw Droll and they, or, uh, Ash more. Um, I didn't play any Pendulum though, so Ogre was unnecessary. Uh, then for spells, play one resort. Um, cards that one, but I used it like three times in a duel, so that's nice. Uh, and then three terraforming, because um, you play pseudo space. Uh, never resolved this card once, but in testing it was good. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, run one Rota, because searching a spiral super agent's good. What one? I don't know. Uh, and then two goods, because Cause the goods. It can send assault and make plays. Oh. So yeah. Uh, oh. One for one. Uh, this card's clutch. Uh, summon drone or quick fix. Usually quick fix, but drone sometimes. Uh, Monster Reborn, uh, summon an opponent's ABC Dragon Buster. It was really nice. Um, but it's Monster Reborn, summon from any grave. It's always good. Uh, Justin Seen, Soul Charge. Uh, I drew it not as much as what I did before, but the theory behind it was he always drew it in True Draco Zoo format in his pure zoo. And when he signed it, I drew it every single game wow. at regional. So, yeah. Thanks to him. Uh, Foolish Burial, uh, it's good to send crap. I mean, you can pitch any monster. If you want to pitch a hand trap that's dead, you can do it. Uh, you can pitch a card, add it back with rescue, so that's good. And then uh, two big red, uh, can't die by battle. Um, that's a big part. Uh, and then people also thought if you MST this after it's resolved, that the monster dies, but it didn't, so that's okay. Yeah, I could have that one.
I still lost those games, so that that happened because Masterpiece is a card. So yeah. Oh yeah. Only for one more day though, but it's okay. Metaltron. My boy. Maybe might take over. Ignis Maybe. Control uh, to rescue. What is a rescue? This is. Um, it literally re uh, revives monsters. Uh, the field effect really wasn't relevant today, which I'm really happy about that because my games were done in like two turns. Uh, but in the grind game and mirror match, this is really good. This is kind of like your uh, prime monarch, like return your monarch spell and trap so you can keep using Erebus and Aether. Um, but no, I liked it. It was really good. Uh, wouldn't probably play three. I played three in my original build with the ravine, but uh, without it, I wouldn't. Uh, so the best card of the day was evenly matched in the main. Uh, I drew this card so much. I tilted so many people with it. Wow. Um, so I, I got judgment a few times. Uh, you know, they had it uh, a lot more than what I would have thought. Uh, but you know, uh, this card's just really good. Uh, being able to just uh, break a board and then use your tough and agent and then just go off. Uh, it also is really good in the main because when you go second, people think you're playing Draco, but then they never ask. It. Like, I never got asked today about my extra deck because people just saw it and I guess they assumed. Uh, but there are some Dracos with extra decks running around. So And also, uh, evenly match plays around like waking the dragons and crap, so that's oh. always nice. Because um, that card, I never got it, never happened to me today, but I'm sure someone in the room was playing it. And then Somebody. two uh, Infinite and Permians. Uh, we didn't play three of this because we didn't have three of it because Konami likes to short print secrets even though they claim they don't. Um, but you know, it's an effect failure that can stop cards in the same column. And uh, against a, uh, what was it, uh, a stun player, he red rebooted my evenly match, so then I set this and then negated a fossil dyna. And then I just proceeded to win. So, yeah. Wow. Infinite Impermanence is a good card because it can work on both players. So an effect failure cannot. So people that say it's just a cheaper effect failure, it could be, but it couldn't be. So uh, then we'll move on to my extra deck. Oh, yeah. Uh, we played one Electrum Knight. Uh, Electrum, I don't know. I summoned it maybe about eight times. Wowzers. So, yeah. Didn't play Astrograph, though, because... We need I that was card. playing new format, but new format for uh, old no, format. Uh, for cherries, never played one of it. Um, I kind of wanted to cherry someone with it and then just see how they played, but again, didn't see any pendulum. Maybe saw like one or two, but they just kind of like failed. Uh, and then uh, we play Link Karibo. Uh Link Karibo was clutch. Sorry for the Europeans. Um, they never get good cards like we do in America. Uh, but this card was actually really cool because. Um, you could just like pay, you can make uh, a Troy Mare uh, Griffin or Cerebus or uh, not Griffin uh, what is it Phoenix or uh, Cerebus with this uh, with just a quick fix um, and this is just good to stop attacks and make you win uh, plus with the new rule it's gonna be good uh, because you can like just stop an attack and maybe win the duel so I don't know we'll see how it goes but it's a link one it points down it's good. Uh, then we play a mermaid. Uh, this pitch is anything to summon a card that can stop your opponent. In theory, it was good. Uh, but going second, I usually didn't give him a bleep, but just a link one that summons one by pitching a rescue is clutch, because that makes a link four. So, yep. Uh, and then we play uh, Phoenix and Cerebus. Um... I want to say I, I never used this guy's effect because it had to be special in the main monster zone, which is really situational. But I used this guy a lot, um, obviously to kill back row because I played against Draco. But um, you know, I didn't really use these guys much except for just their Colleen's effects, and I think that's kind of the balance part about them. Uh, and then we played Goblin. Uh, Goblin was really good. Uh, if you don't draw a quick fix and you draw a drone and uh, agent. Uh, you can pretty much still summon quick fix with this dude, uh, and it's good against Draco. Uh, Draco players couldn't use any of their trap cards on me, so. Uh, and then we played two Helix, uh, not three. I'm not ballsy, so I don't play three. Uh, but usually you only make two to win the duel, so you're fine if you have two. If you have three, you can play three, I don't care. Uh, maybe take out the Electro. Uh, and then uh, for threes, we play uh, Topological, Trisabania. Uh, again, in testing, amazing. Never summoned it though because uh, Draco's uh, usually had a rough, or I usually had a better play to make. So, yeah, yeah. happened. Uh, then we play Unicorn, uh, probably the best Troy Mare. I want to say uh, this returns anything really. Uh, returns resort, so you can do it again. Uh, returns a lot of stuff, and in the Gemini FTK, this is like a reason. So I could see maybe this getting like banned. I don't know. It, it's really powerful, so we'll just have to wait and see what Konami does. 
Uh, and then we play uh, Trigate, obviously. Uh, banishes card, negates a card. What else can you ask? Uh, and then Borload uh, took my opponent's masterpiece so I can use uh, his uh, gri uh, effect on field. Really nice. Uh, then we played Griffin. Uh, Griffin just sets a card. Uh, I set a resort and then I won off of it. And I use this against Dinosaur because um, it, it's just broken. Uh, firewall for combos. I didn't actually make Firewall a lot. Um, I, I kind of wish I did a lot more, but I didn't. I don't think I made him really like once. Um, I don't know. It was really situational. And then a uh, princess. Uh, I made princess a couple times. Never got a card off of her though. So very unfortunate. Unlucky. Happens, so. Uh, so then side, we only played six cards in the side deck. Uh, <laughs> we only played six cards in the side deck, uh, three twin and three reboot. Um, again, I played Sun and Draco all day. I didn't play any other decks, so uh, yeah, that happens. Uh, but yeah, these cards are great. Um, yeah, reboot is a auto win, and twin twister stops are up, so I need to play them. Wow. I need to have it. Uh, so then we play three called. Um, if we were playing mirror match and force go first, we play this so we can stop cherries and stuff. Uh, it's also really good against like dino. Uh, I decided to sin against the dino at two, uh, but I, I, I never saw it, so. Uh, and then we play three cherries. Uh, you can pretty much play this against Goki, like anything. I mean, I guess you could take out maybe the electric for his soul day just so you could play this against Goki. If you really wanted to be like that, then be like that. Uh, and then we play three raw balls, because I guess Royal Chalice is a deck. Um, and breaking the board's nice when you don't have evenly, so. Oh, yeah. And that was pretty much all. All right, so. you got any shout outs, Sam? Oh, I do. Uh, oh. So I want to shout out PPT. PPT! <laughs> you know, team upcoming and rising. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, I want to shout out Team Dank Deals as well. Team Dank Deals is the Thank best you, team. Baby. Yes. Um, always good. Uh, shout out to Johnny for doing it. Johnny, stuff. baby! Uh, and then uh, shout out to Ghost. Ogre dices. Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Ogre Dices. Ghost Ogre Dices. I mean, people, I thought it was a, a Reaper, but obviously it's not, so whatever. Uh, and shout out to all the Draco players that uh, had to deal with me evenly matching them, because unfortunately oh, yeah. I'm Un stacked. Oh, and then shout out to this lovely field center. I, I think it's uh, Team Enforcers. Team Enforcers, baby! Okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, uh, and then... Uh, a shout out to Ian not getting his invite, unfortunately. Ian not getting your invite, baby! I was so sad about That's it. Good. I saw 18th place and I was just like, oh man. 18th place, baby! He tried so hard, but uh, <laughs> you know, um, and then also shout out to all the Omaha people like Bryce and stuff, because Bryce is a. Bryce and baby! Bryce is just a great player, and um, without without us, I mean, I don't know where we all be, so. But yeah, shout out to Omaha for just. Omaha, baby! Nostalgia okay. pros! Hey, oh yeah, shout out to Alan and Team YG. Baby, YG, 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 PPT, PPT, baby, PPT, baby, PPT, baby. <laughs> well, well, I guess that's pretty much all, guys. So. All right, well, yeah. congrats again. Have a good night. Oh, one oh, more. It's Richard. Rich